Hey all, hope you're keeping well. On my mission to become a creative on Linux, I've caused myself great pain. But um, anyhow, I thought I'd show you where I've got so far after about three days of trial and error and swapping distros. I'm currently on Linux Mint and I have DaVinci Resolve running natively. As you know, there is an official Linux version, but you do have to tweak the dependencies and maybe have a little help from ChatGPT to get everything in place and it up and running. And then we have Affinity Studio, which runs 90% of what you'd expect from a, uh, a native install. So you've got like... Oh. Oh, let's go. God, I've got so many multiple desktops and windows open at the moment. I'm driving myself nuts. But let's go back to Affinity. Uh, go back to multiple desktops. We'll drag this file into this one. Minimize that might help. Right. So now I've opened a folder. Okay. So we'll go to pictures. And we'll drag an Affinity Vector logo in. So it's got a nice drag and drop. Uh, maybe this Astronomy Vector. I'll put it off the artboard. Yeah, as you can see, it's working almost native. I want to do some tweaking so that when you double click a vector icon, it'll open in Affinity, even though it's in Wine. I've got to look into that. I know it can be done. So if you imagine you've got an SVG file, you go right click, open with Affinity, because Affinity's running in Wine. It'll open Affinity, but then the actual image does upload, so you need to do a few tweaks. So I'm gonna look into that. But anyway, yeah, as you can see, that's running very decent. And the other thing that I've got running is Capture One via Winboat. Now this has been a bit tricky because um, I'll show you my multiple desktops at the minute just to show you the pain my laptop is going through. You probably be able to hear the fans whirling. I've basically got top left and bottom left is my Zenbook Duo screens, which are like 2,800 pixels each. Then to the right of that, I've got my 4K monitor with all the windows on, which is here. So Zenbook top left, Zenbook bottom left. This is the uh, laptop where you detach the keyboard off the screen. And then top right is a 4K monitor, which is what I'm doing everything on. So we'll just go back to that. And I've got Capture One running through Winboat, which is this application here where you can select all the apps that are installed on your Windows VM and it will just run them separately in a window. So let's get Capture One back. But this is a bit painful at the minute. I think it's partly because it doesn't have GPU support. Partly because my laptop's running three high resolution screens. And also Winboat doesn't seem to like multiple screens at the moment it gets a bit confused it's been a bit of a pain in the ass just to get this to display on my 4k screen but um anyhow i just wanted to show what is possible to a degree i'd say davinci resolve yep that's bang on because that's running natively in linux affinity studio 90 percent of what you get on windows no sweat on that and capture one and via window is going to need some work to get it running nicely but i do really need to try this on a, a dedicated pc with the nvidia gpu or similar but i'm just putting this back on this window but it's usable and if you didn't have three monitors and an nvidia with a the Ryzen or whatever, NVIDIA graphics card with a Ryzen processor. I'd say it's pretty decent. So this, I mean, these images are loading direct from my Linux desktop. 
within a VM running via windboat windowing mode so clear as mud probably <laughs> but yeah just an update I just want to see what's possible at the moment and all these methods are quite in their infancy I'm hoping rapid raw becomes a real contender in the next year because then you can just have affinity running through wine DaVinci Resolve for your video and then a nice raw editor and then it's bye bye windows for a lot of people and maybe even Apple. So I'd be lying if I said Apple's not my daily driver still for work. But my aim is to support this so that within a few years, as probably mentioned in another video, I can build my own PC and just have Linux for everything. So just need that raw editor. Anyhow, that's all for now. Just some random update. But I'll um, catch you soon.